malting and killing process is not something that a brewery uh, typically deals with. In the brewing professional brewing world, maltsters do the lion's share of the work. So they take barley as it grew in the field, as it were, and uh, malt it, which is a process of soaking it in water until the seed coat breaks down. You start to get an acrospire uh, that comes out, and then it is dried uh, to sort of pause it in the what would be germination process. Uh, what that allows the brewer to do is access the starch that the seed would normally use to grow uh, to make sugar to feed to yeast. And my job as a brewer is to make food for yeast and then let the yeast do the rest of the work. Uh, and the maltster starts that process by allowing me to access the sugar in the grain. Once the, that has been germinated um, and dried, it can go through two different kilning processes, uh, toasting or roasting. You can have anywhere from you know, something that doesn't look any different than just plain malted barley all the way up to something that's as dark as coffee, uh, depending on how much modification or how much roasting and toasting it does. Uh, and there are all levels in between that create different characteristics that can impart sweetness, color, flavor, bitterness, and those are all kind of made up in the malt cocktail that we put together uh, to start the recipe. But like I said, again, most of that's done um, by the maltster. I'm actually only aware of one brewery in the U.S. that malts its own grain. Uh, it's a very small one because that's, that's an arduous process that takes a lot, of, um, a lot of floor space, a lot of ability to dry. Um, and then store that grain with enough lower, uh, low enough moisture content uh, so that it, when it gets to us, it's in prime condition for use.